So hello everyone. Today we have somebody very special here. Today we have the strength and conditioning coach of the German Fencing Federation. He's working with um, different fencers from around the world and he's doing that in programs and in one-on-one -on -one coachings. Please welcome with me to Bia Suess. Hi, thank you very much for having me on us. Well, thank you for coming here and for um, giving us some information about strength and conditioning. So um, first of all, please tell us something about you. Yeah, thank you. Um, my name is Tobias. I'm a strength, strength and conditioning coach from Germany, living in Bonn, Germany, where the famous uh, foil man team is, is working like Peter Jopich and Benjamin Kleibrink. Um, and yes, I'm a former fencer till U20 and then I stopped fencing. So um, yeah, I studied and I'm a nutritionist and strength and conditioning coach and yeah, working, like you said, uh, with um, various athletes, not just fencing, also um, soccer and tennis and so on. And yeah, that's it. All right. Okay. So my very first question is, so as a, as a fencer, what can you do? Because this is so important for all of us um, to prevent injuries um, from a strength conditioning point of view and maybe also from a nutritionist point of view. Yeah, that's the, maybe the most important uh, part of my, my work. Um, let's, let's say you have to get a bulletproof body. So you need to get robust. You need to strengthen your body. You need to get fit overall. What like uh, like no one knows what this means, but um, yeah, you have to strengthen your your ligaments, your tendons, your muscles, your bones, and so on. And you have to get overall robust and bulletproof. Mm -hmm. And there are no magic um, exercises. There are basic exercises everyone should in any kind of um, variation has to do but overall it's like yeah you have to you have to have a look where the athlete is and where are the weak points and then you have to work on these weak points and there are several exercises which work very well for most of the people but not always for the individual athlete and uh, about which exercises we are talking here what would be the if you would name one or two exercises that every fencer should do, what would you yeah. choose? That, that, that's, that's hard to, to answer, but um, overall, I think the, the basic movements like the squat, the deadlift, mm -hmm. maybe uh, one leg or two leg um, should be in every um, yeah, workout plan and should be done regularly to, to get a to get healthy knees, to get healthy um, hips, to, to get an overall healthy lower body, because sure, in, in fencing, the lower body is the, the more important part. Um, for upper body, you just maybe <laughs> just uh, have to be um, healthy at all. So your shoulders have to move well to the front and to the side. You don't have to, to have that much uh, power and, and uh, force, uh, force production. But I think the lower body, the, the squat and the deadlift in any variation, whatever it is, should be in every workout plan, yeah. Okay, and um, what about the nutrition? On what should I focus in, in nutrition? As a yeah, nutrition is a critical part when it comes to regeneration and regeneration is the, the overwhelming uh, part of, of um, yeah, injury prevention because if you don't regenerate as well as you train, you won't get a good athlete and you um, will injure more. That's okay. very simple. So okay. overall, number one, water, just drinking as much, as much as you can, two to three liters per day so that you can overall um, yeah, live well. Mm -hmm. The second very important part for sure is the, the protein intake. Um, and the third overall part, I would say, is the overall healthy nutrition with a lot of greens, a lot of fruits, a lot of proteins, good carbs as uh, oats or rice or something that you 
uh, like. Um, and third part, uh, for sure, good fats from fish, from, from uh, seeds, from good oils, from olives, and so on. So the, the, the nutrition part should, should be overall um, good over the day and over, the, over a lifespan, mm -hmm. I would say. Uh, I would say. Um, what you should be focusing on as a fencer in the off season. So for, I mean, now some of some countries are still in lockdown, like, um, I don't know, Singapore, for example, other countries are slowly getting back to normal, like us. And for example, we in Austria, we, we can dream normally. Um, but we still have off season. So on what can a fencer or what should a fencer should be focusing on uh, in the off season? Yeah, for a strength and conditioning coach, the off season is the most important part of the season. Mm -hmm. um, that's the that's the time where you can can build up your body, where you can gain strength, where you can gain explosivity, uh, where you can get faster and stronger. And I would say the, the main um, point of focus should be on um, going to the gym and uh, doing strength training two to four times a week, maybe, and gaining strength in the squat, the deadlift, the press, the maybe pull-ups if you, if you want to improve them, um, and gain um, basic strength so you can, um, you can focus a little bit later on power and um, speed development. Mm -hmm. And in the period of competitions, um, what do you think? How often should a fencer should should go to gym or should do some some endurance training, conditioning training? Yeah, yeah. Um, conditioning is not that important if the fencers are fencing well in the fencing um, fencing training. So if you're just sitting on your bench and not doing anything, you have to do conditioning. But if you fence regularly and two to three hours per day, maybe, then maybe the conditioning is not that important. Um, strength training should, should be on a, on a consistent level, maybe two to three times uh, per week. It's not always one hour. It just can, can be go to the gym, do some squats, some deadlifts, um, so that you can, can hold your, your strength level and you, uh, you will not lose uh, strength and muscle mass. Um, yeah, I think two to three times per week um, of the week when you have a uh, competition, then maybe one to two times. If you have uh, no competition, maybe three times. Yeah. Okay. And because a lot of, you know, a lot of people, a lot of athletes ask us about um, what to do in preparation of a competition, like the direct preparation before a competition on the competition day. What would you um, do or how would you, what yeah. do you recommend? Yeah, it's important to get a routine. I think everyone has a routine in, in, some, sp uh, in some, some manner, but um, I often see athletes sitting on the floor, stretching the hamstrings a lot and hard. Um, this is one thing that should be avoided. So hard stretching, like for one minute, for two minutes on the hamstrings or the, the, the legs, um, will, reduce, will, will reduce your explosive power mm -hmm. output. Um, so we have to think about what do we need in fencing. Fencing is a sport, so we have to move. So the preparation has to, uh, to, to start with moving. Some, you can walk around, you can... Um, rope skipping is very, very uh, uh, popular. And this is a very good uh, type of warming up. Um, and then you have to, sorry, do some work with uh, resistance bands because this, you know, got quite yeah. popular now. Yeah, yeah. Um, you have to to increase it slowly. So you start maybe with rope skipping, five minutes. Then um, you have to put in some power. That could be jumping, sprinting, change of direction. This can be um, resistance sprints with uh, resistance bands. Yeah. And there, for sure, it's it's helpful to have someone uh, to maybe hold it. <laughs> um, yes, and you have to slowly increase the intensity so you can 
um, work with explosive uh, speed, you can work with sprints, with jumping, with change of direction, uh, one leg jumping, right, left, front, back, and so on. Um, yeah, and then fencing and winning the tournament. <laughs> All right, and after you won the competition, um, how would you generate quickly after like a, a very hard competition? What you would say. Yeah, regeneration is, is overall not complicated, but it's hard to, to integrate into, uh, into your daily life. So it's drinking, eating and sleeping, that's it. Mm -hmm. That's the three most, 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 most important things. Um, drinking like regularly water, maybe with some, uh, some carbs after or in, um, in competition. Um, you have to get in your protein, you have to get in your vitamins um, and minerals from uh, greens and so on. And then you have to sleep, sleep, sleep. Quite around seven to nine hours should be done. It depends on your, your age. Younger athletes a little bit more, eight to nine uh, hours. If you get a little bit uh, older, then maybe seven to eight uh, hours are enough. That's a little bit individual. But yeah, sleep, eating, and uh, drinking is, is the most powerful regeneration tools uh, we have. And this has to be daily. So there is no, we, uh, yeah, the, uh, every day has to be a good day for regeneration. Yeah. Okay. And my very last question thank you for all your information that you gave us and to all our fencers. Um, how we can reach out to you. Um, I told at the beginning, I was introducing you that you give one-on-one -on -one coachings also online, which is great. And you do, uh, you do it also over programs that you can book. So how can we reach or how can our participants read out to you? Yeah, the easiest one uh, would be uh, via Instagram. So mm -hmm. it's uh, at Suess, S-U-E-S-S, -U -E -S -S, Sports Performance. Mm -hmm. um, there you can find me, uh, otherwise there's an email, it's like s-u-e-s-s -S -S at fitness dot, no, that's wrong, info at s-u-e-s-s -S -S dot fitness, that's mm -hmm. right, sorry, that's a new one. <laughs> um, yeah, that's the easiest way and there you can contact me, uh, contact me and then yeah, online coaching is available uh, all over the world. Uh, I have athletes from Canada, from um, India from um, yeah, all over the world. And it's, it's possible to, to have a good um, yeah, coaching um, wherever you want to be. <laughs> yes, so. That's the, 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 the perfect, perfect, uh, yeah. That's, that's perfect good, time to good, enhance yeah, perfect your time. performance, yes. Yeah, so sure. all of your, all of the details, how you can contact Tobias, um, you will see in our show notes and you will also see in our um, in our email that we will send out to our people and also you will find that on our Facebook page um, So Tobias, thank you for having us. Thank you for for being on our show um, all the best and uh, Hope to see you soon at the next competition Yes, thank you very much Johannes. Yes. Bye-bye Bye